What's going on everybody? Today I am driving one of the best cars we've ever built. This thing is so sweet. It's a 1965 Cadillac Eldorado and she is one of the finest cruising automobiles if you're looking to cruise that I've ever driven. Really cool car and we built it for two wonderful customers, Chris and Linda. Chris bought this for his wife Linda as her first car was in fact a 1965 El Dorado which is pretty cool. El Dorados were actually a rare option. They did not make that many of them. So it was between this car and a Beetle but her mother wanted her to be safe. So well she ended up with this boat. A few years later she sold the car and many many years later she still wanted that car back. So Chris came to us and said, can you really take one of those things and modernize it? Make it safer for my wife, make it drive a lot better, but make sure it still rides like a Cadillac. And we said, yes, sir, we can. So we started this project right about, I think it's been about 15 months ago. And we're just in our final kind of test and tune stage right now. So. We bought what was kind of like a nicely preserved Eldorado. It had been painted once, but the interior was all original, original engine, frame, all that stuff. And uh, we kept the body, but we dropped it on a brand new chassis. In order to take the car up to today's standards and make it drive as nice as possible, we ordered a really, really trick independent rear suspension chassis setup from MRC Fab in North Carolina. Now this thing is as stout as it can be tubular control arms up front, rack and pinion, uh, and some very, very adjustable shocks. And so adjustable, in fact, that we're able to get this thing nice and low and keep it driving like a Cadillac. It doesn't float as much as an original Cadillac did, and there is actually damping. So uh, you, you can hit a big bump. You don't really feel it, but it won't continue to bounce up and down. Really, really nicely tuned setup. So we've been working with it now for about a month, just getting everything dialed in. And we're pretty much done. We had 120 test miles on it. Um, and she is, you know, aside from some final final tuning, uh, polishing, just the normal, the normal deal, um, pretty much ready to go. I don't know if you can hear that exhaust or not, but we've got a really nice custom built Magnaflow setup on it. Matt, the shop, TIG welded it all up. And uh, that's coming from a completely modern Chevrolet Performance LS3. Now this engine is making 525 horsepower and we wanted to keep it looking as much as we could like a 65 Eldorado in the engine compartment. So we're running a throttle body type setup on it. Cast iron manifolds, got a holly intake and it's it's nice, it's peppy. We've got a old school style air cleaner on it so it, it stays, you know, looks true to form but the performance is just awesome, and this thing starts right up. It's pretty much dialed in. This thing doesn't skip a beat. Fires up immediately. Awesome throttle response. Really, really good acceleration. Um, it's actually pretty fast, given the size, and she's she a beast. So that engine hooks up to a 4L65E tranny, and. Uh, just shifts smooth as butter. We've got it shifting a little more aggressive than it would have from the factory. We also have full overdrive capabilities, so cruising on the highway at higher speeds is just really nice. Willwood brakes all the way around in all four corners. She stops on a dime. And with the LS3, we have tons of vacuum, so regular vacuum booster works wonderful. This thing will throw you through the glass if you step on it too hard. Um, but it's a great setup, and it, it's kind of what you'd expect from a modern car, but we're, we have it in an old car. Um, in terms of creature comforts, we've got this really killer custom-built interior. Brian in the interior shop built most everything by hand. We did buy these seats, refoam them, custom center console, custom rear seats, custom dash. Dakota Digital actually has a gauge set up for these cars, which is wonderful and it actually fits inside the original chrome cluster. Um, speaking of chrome, on this car there is a ton of chrome and 
there is also a crazy amount of stainless. So they did such a good job with the stainless, you can barely tell it's, it's, it looks like it could be chrome, which is nice. And I think on this type of car, chrome probably does get you back home. So you got you to invest in it. It's a Cadillac. Now, obviously, this is not a short car. So to get this thing straight took quite a bit of effort. But the guys in the body shop killed it. She is laser straight. We achieved a lot better than factory fit in all the panels. All the gaps are, are really nice and tight. The hood fits well. The trunk fits better than it ever did. We've got a really nice custom top. It's a German canvas. So we all know how those vinyl tops wear. It seems like they're good for about, I don't know, two years, three years sometimes. And then you start to really get some weird wear issues on them. And that's not good. So this is going to last a lot longer. Plus, it's got a really nice high-end feel. Really nice exhaust note. You can barely hear it. Just a little bit of a burble at idle. But when you get into it, it sounds good. But that being said, it's just never too much. You're not going to get sick of it. It's nice to hear it, but it won't wear you out on a long trip. And we hope people do drive these things long distances. The majority of the stainless and the interior is custom made. We did a lot of it on a router. Um, all the panels are custom. We've got a nice German weave carpet, which is a little bit lighter blue than the rest of the interior and has kind of little speckles of gray in it. Really nice high-end look. As we do with all of our vehicles, vintage air, keep you nice and cool. It's all modern components. They're very, very reliable. If anything ever breaks, which we've had very, very little issues after about 13 years of installing these systems. But if anything ever breaks, you call them, get a part overnighted, put it in, you're good to go. Blows nice and cold, people always ask, so they, is it gonna blow cold? Like, it's just like your modern air conditioning system. We try to oversize them a little bit, but for this interior, it's probably, you know, just about right. It's absolutely massive. We kept the original steering wheel, which is nice. You know, there's a lot of cars you just want to get rid of the original steering wheel. And maybe they didn't look that good, but we're going to come in hot to this corner. We got a big beefy roll bar up front. For the size of this car, it's actually pretty quick. I, you know, we weren't going for speed, but the handling as well, especially with the independent rear suspension, you can tell it's back there and it really feels wonderful. Um, and as I mentioned before, it still rides like a Cadillac with a lot better damping in the shock. It's not as loose as they once were. Moving around this turn pretty good. For the size of the car, and I'm obviously not driving it at dangerous speeds, really handles nicely and corners pretty well. And again, we did beef up the sway bar in the front quite a bit. I absolutely love driving this thing I like going fast, but man, this thing is like a statement piece, like a lifestyle statement piece. And there's not that many cars nowadays that really come out and say that. At least not a whole lot of American cars that do. So in terms of the stereo, I was reluctant to cut up this dash and get rid of the original radio because it just, Kind of like the steering wheel, I feel like you should have it. So we left the original radio and we've got a really nice integration. You just hop on your phone, it hooks up via Bluetooth and it sounds really darn good. We've got kicker components all the way around and the kicker rep has been coming out to tune all of our stereo systems. So that's been a pretty nice piece of customer service there and we know all the work that went into it and the money that went into the system, you know, isn't gonna be lost on some components that are performing poorly when they really shouldn't be. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you wanna buy some cool merch, click on the info card or you can click on the link in the bio.